Hey ladies. All right. So um, I'm here in my car. I've actually just come from a Juice Plus uh, conference. Awesome day. I'm heading into the arena now to go and watch my son Sam on the ice, but I didn't get a chance yesterday to do the video for Mickey Eves who asked the question about iron. So I packed my iron with me so that I knew I would have a few moments that I could create this little video. So her question was, as a woman um, in their 40s, how much iron should you be taking a day? What type? What do you need to know about that? So first off, uh, my recommendations for women that are anywhere from say, well, honestly, really anywhere from starting to menstruate up until the age of around 50, um, when things start to shift, perimenopause starts to, to take its, um, you know, kind of take its place in our life, which can be going on for anywhere from eight to 13 years. Uh, I recommend anywhere from 10 milligrams up to 30 milligrams of iron each day. I do not, I repeat, I do not recommend prescription iron. Um, I know even some naturopaths recommend prescription iron. I've never had success with a client taking prescription non-elemental iron um, in a tablet form. Um, for me, what's always worked really well is using a liquid form. So I used to have uh, clients doing Floridex, um, which is great and still I sometimes do. If they don't have any big issues, they don't have a heavy menstrual cycle, they don't have PCOS, um, they're not really low in energy and ferritin is actually registering, um, then I might have them do the Floridex. But for most of my female clients that I am working with, this one right here, it is, see if I can get it in the light, uh, right there. So Iron Smart by this awesome lady, Lorna Vanderhaeg. So what I love about this is it's liposomal. So the iron is actually coated in a lipid so that when it gets into your system, it's not gonna be destroyed by the stomach acid. It is actually gonna get in there and you're gonna be able to absorb it and uptake it. The other thing I love is that uh, it is not gonna constipate you. So, so often with iron, even in multivitamins, which is also why I don't recommend a multivitamin, um, the iron is very hard. It's very constipating as a mineral. So. You take this iron, your body can't absorb it, you end up creating a highway of pills that are sitting in your intestinal tract. Um, and it's just, it's actually contributing to your low iron, to your anemia, as opposed to helping you. So what I recommend is two teaspoons a day. Um, it's a caramel flavor. Some people say it um, doesn't taste like, <laughs> like caramel. Just suck it up and get it in, okay? Two teaspoons of this a day. Other clients I have say it feels like they're having dessert, so try it for yourself. You can get it in the natural health section at Superstore, at Zares. You can get it at Nature's Emporium, Ambrosia, Whole Foods, any of those types of stores. But here's the thing that I would ask. When I sit down and I analyze blood work for clients, and I'm always looking at hemoglobin and ferritin, I want to know why. Why is your iron low? Is it because you have menstrual issues? You've got a really heavy flow, you always have, you have fibroids, you have cysts. Is it because you have an absorbability issue? What's going on in your gut? Why aren't you absorbing and uptaking the iron from your food? Is it your food? Are you not getting in enough dark leafy greens? Are you not getting in, I mean, don't always look at beef as being your issue, that you're not eating beef, because sometimes eating the beef or having the animal protein can be the very thing that's irritating your gut. Other times, having too many grains, too many beans and legumes could be the thing that's irritating your gut and you need to increase or uptake your animal protein. So. That's why there's no one size uh, approach or one size program that's gonna fit all. So it's really important, A, to understand when you get your blood work done, you need to get a physical copy of it and you need to go and take it to someone and have them look at it because more often than not, and remember with iron, the range is like from 11 to 144. So if you're sitting, you could be like 12 and be told that you're totally fine and your iron's in the normal range. For me, I like to see ferritin um, no less than 40, 70, honestly, is really optimal. So we need to put together a plan, a protocol. Taking the supplement is going to help, but then we actually have to, again, recognize and sit back and say, okay, well, why? Why are we having the issue with the iron in the first place? So Mickey and the rest of the ladies, I hope that answered your question. 10 to 30 milligrams each and every day. If you notice that when you have your period that your energy is lower, you could take a little bit extra. If you notice that that starts to bung you up a little bit and the bowels aren't moving well, take some extra of vitamin C and that should help to get things through or just back off 10 milligrams or you know one teaspoon worth um, a time. All right so I gotta go in. Game is gonna start. Have a fantastic rest of your weekend and don't forget tomorrow morning 10 a.m. 
join me on my webinar. I'm going to teach you so much. I'm so excited about the six week course that is starting up and uh, tomorrow's webinar is all about that. So take a peek down below for the link. Uh, we've got a post on the Facebook page. It's on the website, on the blog. It is everywhere. So tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. See you then guys. Bye.